Yeah. Um, and so they, you're told that uh, they'll they'll give it a look. At the end of the day, they can give you a price. And ultimately, if you are, if you can be patient, they can give you more on the figures. But if you need money right now, they can give you money right now, but uh, not as high a percentage uh, of their of their value than what they could otherwise. So. I mean, top value is what we want, I guess. Yeah. Um, in that case, you'd want to give them some time to try and find a buyer, and because uh, otherwise you're going to a store and you're like, "Hey, I, I want to clean out your petty cash," and I'll tell you, someone who you know who does this through trading and whatnot as a profession will do it. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> if if you if you come into the store and you're like, "I need I need cash. I got to sell my cards," we can often do that. But you know, it it could be a little bit easier if if we're given notice or we could try and find buyers and kind of, you know, pass the savings on to you. That's fair. Yeah. Um, all right. So anyway, uh, you have people who are interested and you come back and you tell Mr. Halver, uh, all right, let's go and try and recover these mushroom samples for you um, because he needs them. And uh, he assures you he's not going to eat more than one of them. And um, you, you'll see what uh, you'll see what there is to see. And speaking of the sea, uh, all of you have your spell lists, all your stuff done for the day. Celine, you you prayed for the spells that you're going to be receiving. Okay. In this case, we come to a beautifully illustrated map. Like someone spent just not over nine thousand hours painting this up, and uh, we have. Do and a boop a doop a do and a boop a doop a do and a boop a doop a do. Whoop. Uh, we can we can put a Peggy Sue out here if you want. Are you, do you want to bring Herbert on this mushroom hunting adventure, Norlai, or do you want to keep him at home? Uh, yes. Yes to what? I will bring Herbert. Okay. All right. So, uh, you go through the house and you go through uh, what Mr. Helver calls one of the back doors. And when you open it, you find yourself um, emerging from a small room in a beachside shack. The springtime sea is lapping at the beach. Uh, the water's frothing. And... Uh, the sun is... Oh, hi, Pupper. Um, and the... Uh, uh, getting an early start here, the, uh, the the sun is still rising. And so uh, what I'm going to do is, for this for this mushroom hunt on the map, uh, I want to I go over a couple, a couple things. Uh, if you are in the sand, it's going to be difficult terrain because it's... Just kind of loose sand and water splashing through it, so it's it's like shifting around. It's not really solid. Uh, water is just that; it's for swimming. Um, if you are in the water, uh, the the water's dim light, and that counts for the salt water, which is the darker blue, and the fresh water, as there's a stream that's coursing through the river out to the sea. So if you're in the water, that's dim light. As you can see, there are shadows being cast off of the off of the trees and the house here. And you can see that there's a little chimney poking up uh, in that box right there from the rooftop. If you're in a shadow, it's dim light. Um, if you're in brush, it would be dim light and difficult terrain. And if there's shadow in the brush, then... It's dark. Because we have two instances of dim light. Does that make sense? Oh, I, okay. The trees are as tall as you see the shadows. So, for example, the tree that I'm pinging right here would be 20 feet tall. Two, you know, reasonably, like, the highest part of a solid branch you could climb. If you want to go to the very tippy top, I mean, you might be able to scramble up some, you know, some side little ones that are growing up. But we're talking like the solid part of the tree is that high. And while I haven't drawn it, you can presume that there are some branches sticking off. So if you do want to do any treetop searching or 
you know, you want to hop from one to the next, uh, you may very well be able to, to go branch to branch. Uh, the, as you, as you're looking through the windows in this, uh, seaside, kind of this, this, uh, fishing shanty, um, the, the water, uh, flowing down here doesn't appear to be moving too fast or too deep. And, um, the inside the orange is an old paved flagstone road. Um, so this is, it's, it's not difficult terrain. That being said, the implied grass off to the side is not difficult terrain either. Cause that's what the bushes are going to do. The trees are blocking terrain. Uh, and also I'm fine with, uh, with trees having soft corners. I know soft corners aren't really a thing in, in fifth ed, but so you can move diagonally around them, uh, instead of having to take the, the, the long way around. Uh, but for things like, uh, I, I would say it's a hard corner if you wanted to go from here just outside the shack into the shadow on the other side. That would be a hard corner. Uh, but the trees I'll count as soft. And um, and the old this old flagstone path is uh, washed out. And the river seems to have kind of come up through it. So you can see where there are parts where some stone is sticking up just barely from the water. It's probably slippery. Uh, but you might be able to hop across if you didn't want to, um, as, uh, this part of the, this part of the little river, the stream is kind of shallow and gentle as it's spilling out onto the sand. But when you get closer to where the two come together, this is going to be deeper and faster to some degree. Um, but you're not there yet. So we haven't explored what that could mean. It's just that as it spreads out on the beach, it, it's no longer a coursing stream. It's just sort of spilling out into the into the salt water. Um, and so, uh, Mr. Halver, oh, let me... Whoop, I gotta select. Hello, select. There we go. Uh, Mr. Halver's here. Uh, unfortunately, me being a cheapo, they only had a green dragon token, so use your imaginations and uh, and paint him silver. Um, but That's he... Uh, his head is kind of sticking through the door that you walked behind, so his body's not there. His body's presumably back in the house, uh, but you ended up walking through the door onto the beach here. All right, well... Have fun! On the beach. Um, if you need to, uh, if you need to get back, just knock three times. Okay. No more, no less. I mean it. You gotta use your tail for it. I'll know if you don't. All right. So I guess I am walking out onto the beach, and I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes, and I'm going to cast Find Greater Steed. Oh. Ah, so this is going to be... Uh... Okay, so... Do -do 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 -do. Crunch, crunch, crunch under your boots. Um, you know, the, the sea faces you here. Um, this is the first time you're invoking this spell. And uh, and so as you're, as you're doing so... Well, actually, real quick... If Mordecai, Mordecai says he needs about 10 minutes, uh, yeah. what would you all like to do, uh, if not give him 10 minutes, what would you like to do with 10 minutes? Hmm. You can go fishing. There's some fishing rods in the house. <laughs> gotcha. That's noted. Mage armor. <laughs> I don't hear you, Fluffy. I said I kissed a armor, and then with my remaining nine minutes and fifty-four seconds, I feel like I should. But I, I don't know which one to cast, so I guess I'll just, I'll just. Um, actually, I know what I'll do. I'll come out here, and I'm gonna start practicing my mold earth because I've never used it before, and I'm gonna use it to, to make some of the sand, hard so that you can walk on it, and then I'll make it soft again, because I don't know where the. 
Um, I'm going to summon Fenry. Then like the month or so, yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to make it hard for you, make you pull out the tokens. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you guys haven't met him yet. This is Fenry. He's a good boy. He talks to out loud. Uh, I'm just gonna be preparing at this point because there's not really any, any uh rituals or. Oh, actually, no, there is. There is a ritual that I could cast. Um, I am going to target. Uh, let me see how many how many creatures we do we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm going to target all of us, and I'm going to Ritual Cast Water Walk. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Interesting. So, for my ritual, because I have ten minutes, I would like to cast Magic. Detect, detect magic. magic. Detect magic. Uh, yeah, yeah, just in case. I mean, it'll help. It'll detect, actually help but... in searching for the for the mushroom circle because it'll give off yeah, the magic. Yeah, Are you muted again? Geez, sorry about that, everyone. I, I, I mute, you know, because I'm drinking soda or something. I don't want to make any rude noises, and I, I get so caught up in describing things. Thank you for letting me know, Spectre. Um, uh, I, I, for for what I was describing, it was just uh, what's difficult terrain or not. So y'all out there, you just you didn't really miss out on anything more than some mechanics. Um, so Fenry, uh, like stretches and a uh, big jaw opens up and, and these like ropes of saliva just kind of like coming down smacks its lips 
No, why? It's good to see you again. It's good to see you. Where are we? We're, uh, we're at the beach, and we have uh, a mission. We need to find some magic mushrooms. Or, like, mm. fairy mushrooms. Uh, fairy mushrooms. Yes. Uh, do you know what mushrooms smell like? No. What do mushrooms okay. smell like? Um, they kind of smell earthy, but not, but not like, actually, I don't know. Could you find one of these and then let me sniff it and then I'll be able to find more? Um, you know what? Uh, uh I'm, I'm just going to like draw a picture of a mushroom in the sand. Uh, look for something or help me look for something that looks like this and then... Uh, if you find it, I'll come see, and if it's a mushroom, we'll keep looking. Ah, uh, so like a twee, but really small. Yeah, really small. Usually they're like brownish. Sometimes they're red, uh, or they're white. Very Usually well. Them... Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, if you all haven't caught, the dog, which, well, wolf that can speak, is actually speaking with an interesting accent. And then, casting my spell, so. <laughs> and then, Herbert, you know what mushrooms smell like. You know what they taste like. They're very good. Rawr. Yes. So we're going to look for mushrooms. Uh, don't, don't eat the first one you find. Unless there's more than six. Then you can have one. But we need six that you cannot eat. All right, Herbert. Inside the pot is gives you a leafy thumbs up. Um, I mean, he's awake, and so he should be able to move about if he wants. Yeah, he's practicing. Yeah. All, right. Uh, all right, so uh, you know, no, no Kuotoa slink up on shore to interrupt any casting. Uh, the shack doesn't catch on fire unless any of you make it catch on fire. Um. And, uh, Wait, I'm thinking. and on a similar note, Norlai hasn't cast any spells, so we're we're good there. Um, okay, I won't start the shack on fire. Okay. <laughs> you can start the shack on invisibility and go two for two. Uh, then your your spells go off. Any other sort of prep stuff you want to do or... <clears throat> Pardon me. So, so is Mr. Helver actually here or did he just duck back into his dimension? He ducked back through the door. Okay. Hmm. Probably invisibilize him then. All right. Okay. If there's nothing else, then um, the the mushroom hut will begin. Normally, I, I want to put you back for purposes of. I, I want to do this in an in in an initiative order, uh, in case anything were to happen, because I frankly don't know. And I must be prepared for all eventualities, as a good DM should. Uh, so will you all uh, please, uh, please roll me an initiative? Forget to put the. Oh, you don't use the tracker. Never mind. I I am a pleb. Uh, that is true. Um, so I have a a ballpoint pen and an old envelope. Uh, so, <laughs> as I do open mail want, at my desk here, and <laughs> do you want me to roll a separate initiative for my steed? Oh, for your now? steed! You have yeah. you have a steed. Um, he also needs to be large size, I think. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm sorry. So this is the first time that you've summoned this thing. It uh, is. can you? All right. So describe. Uh. This, uh, I'm going to put Mr. Halver kind of away. D describe what happens. I, I mean, because everyone's like, oh, there's a, a talking dog with a, a familiar kind of disturbing accent. Uh, then all this other stuff is happening. You know, Herbert's kind of wiggling around in a pot. And then suddenly, coo, on the beach is a thing. <laughs> so Mordecai, 10 minutes ago, sat down and started, uh, started focusing, just kind of listening to the water and uh, casting, uh, started... Uh, vocalizing and uh, gesturing a spell 
uh, spend about 10 minutes doing so. And after that, a, uh, a small beam of sunlight just kind of, uh, comes down on the, on the ground next to him and it coalesces into the shape of a griffin. And so you see a, uh, a winged eagle faced beast just kind of coalesce uh, out of out of light and take physical form. And what was what what's the cause or thinking? Why why this creature or how did Mordecai come to have this inspiration to draw upon and manifest such a creature? Um just kind of Looking back at uh, some some things of myth, some things that of that potentially exist, uh, he just kind of formulated the image in his brain from something that he might have read in the past from a story, and he's always heard that stories had that uh, heroes have magnificent steeds, and so. So okay. he manifests one for himself. And and so this is this is a storybook steed. This is something that perhaps a, a knight in one of the fairy tales that you enjoyed as a as a, a little mord uh, was uh, was reading about, and you always hoped maybe one day I could own a, a magnificent steed. Is, mm -hmm. is this supposed to be the likeness of uh, like Sir So and So, or you know the the knight of whatever, or? So one of the things that he enjoyed as a kid were stories of uh, paladins slaying dragons. Okay. And so that's the that's the inspiration. And uh, the steed's name is Jasper. Jasper. Okay. Very well. So we have. That's Slate eternally is just like no. That's adorable. Also, yes, initiative. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Mordecai's childhood fantasy is coming true. <laughs> Do I need to roll a separate initiative for him though? Or no? No. Okay. I got terribly. And I need one for Norlai, please. Sorry. Um... Am I at the bottom of the initiative? Do I need yes! Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, y'all are having a lazy day at the beach here. <laughs> no one wants to leave. Uh, Do, I need for... initiative. <laughs> Do I need a roll for Herbert and uh, Henry? Uh, Let's keep it easy and have them go on your turn. Okay. Uh, If... Uh, I, I I don't necessarily mind this, but if we're getting into playing a little bit more Pokemon on a battlefield, then it's gonna be really easy to condense initiatives. So uh, we have bright. Oh, that just feels bad. <laughs> Between Mordecai and Norali, who wants to go first? My dex is a plus two. What's yours? Uh, plus three. You should go first. Okay. Nor is twitchier. That's usually how I rule it, so. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Fluffy, are you okay if I have uh, Peggy Sue just go on your initiative? Ah, that's okay. fine. Okay. And when I summon, summon elementals, they can go on my initiative too. That's that. That's fine. <laughs> we'll keep it nice and simple. <laughs> All the summons. Yep. <laughs> uh, the nice thing about Jasper is he's dismissible, like Peggy Peggy Sue. Because because otherwise it's your initiative, your pet's initiative, and then my monster initiative or my NPC initiative and any like stage hazards or traps or and then all of a sudden I have just these layers of initiative and ugh. um <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad unless you use the initiative tracker and then it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah because then you just hit next 
Yeah. <laughs> Comma, but. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Bright, what are you doing? <laughs> Except razzing me. Deservedly. <laughs> okay, so do I see anything on my detect magic radar? Uh, it's 30 feet, isn't it? Um, nothing, nothing that you are not expecting, uh, is showing up to you. Okay. Um, so, um, Piggy Sue, can you hop over to me, please? For just a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, um, I'm going to take the dodge action. You know, in case something happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to you know, walk out into into space and see if I see anything with my regular senses or the magical ones. Okay. Uh, nothing magical beyond expectation is manifesting. Hey, here, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> here, mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, Derek, um, make a, uh, make a stealth for me, please. Okay. Shonoro's noodly appendage strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you're walking down a, a cobbled road, uh, you you see that this uh, beachside shack has some people in it, uh, and and creatures, uh, especially like a big one that's on a beach. And so you just kind of like as you're walking down, you just catch this and you you slip behind a tree, uh, expertly. <laughs> you are. Uh, just to to see what's going on here, because these are, I you, I mean, this thing, this you've never seen one of these before, and I, obviously magic is magic, but this is something that only exists in fairy tales, and that might concern you. Uh, and then of course there's a, I don't know, there's a dog and a potted plant that seems to be wiggling around in a little girl's arms, uh, that you probably, I doubt you see Peggy Sue. Um, yes. I have to admit, this is a, just a tiny bit strange. Uh, and if yes. you if you wish to do anything, uh, th that was kind of a freebie to uh, to get you onto the map. Uh, so from here, if you wish to take a, a turn or to do something else, you may. To be fair, I'm still trying to find my token on the map. Oh, there. We oh, go. you're uh, you're <laughs> down here. I I found. Um, I cannot move said token. Oh, strangely enough, uh, you need to give him control of the token. Um, I have lost all control. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I do not feel in charge. <laughs> <laughs> it is what Shoda does um, after all. I don't know. It looks like you should be able to can be edited and controlled by. Unless uh, I'm missing something. Let me to refresh and see what happens. <laughs> If, if that person can see me from where I'm at, I have a 25 passive perception. Um, uh, no, I cannot end up editing said. Allow me to end up interjecting and doing as such. Sure. That yes, works. Now, I can, now I can move. <coughs> Freedom of movement. How fantastic. <laughs> uh... All right, so you, you you're starting there. Uh, you you initially hid uh, as you saw this stuff going on. Uh, Mordecai, while while you can, you're preoccupied with the spell that you're casting on the beach in bright light. Uh, so in oh, this yeah, case, yeah. with as as far away as this character is, and in the woods where it's darker, you're going from bright light to dark and distance and all the other elemental stuff happening around. Well, not elemental, but like na natural stuff happening. Uh, I'll, I'll say it's not going to be some sort of an auto ping. Uh, but I'm sorry. Go ahead, Derek, and uh, do what you'd like to do. 
Well, at this point, further investigation is required. So I shall end up approaching them as stealthily as possible to interfere in getting a better vantage point, taking closer to the trees and the shade, if at all possible. Sure. Uh, if you're doing that, go ahead and roll another stealth, because that was just going to be your initial one, uh, if it if it mattered or counted for anything in particular here. But okay, it does not. Well, as far as you know, you are in dim light. Um, <laughs> for whatever that might count. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So you're you're just moving and watching. Then we will move down to Norali. In company. It's kind of like Oliver in company. <laughs> Why should you worry? Why should you care? Er, er, er. Um, I'm going to follow Bright's example. Okay. Magic sparkles cover your body. Um... Um. All right, do you want to lead or are you just going to be following a pet? Um. I, this is difficult terrain, right? No. N I, you're, yeah. No, you're, uh, you're not on difficult terrain. I'm from from difficult the beach to the water is difficult oh, terrain but this is grass and this is not so you can move further yeah. if you wish yeah I'm, I'm just gonna start exploring sure okay um you want to move fenry as well uh i don't have control oh oh that's right because I, I place it all right so um fenry's gonna go up on the other side and, uh, no, why? It's a twee, but I don't think it's the white one. Yep. Uh, but sometimes mushrooms grow near trees, so you can always look at the bases. Very well, I'll do so. Uh, they also grow where it's a bit darker, so it might be under roots. Hunt in the darkness. Yes. Around the base of twees. Uh, yeah. Uh, mysterious figure in the woods. Uh, this little girl is talking to a very large dog that is replying and with a Shadahar accent. Shadahar spy, I see. <laughs> hmm. Writing down in my journal, little girl. Shadahar speaking dog. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mordecai, you're up now. All right. Um, now that uh, Jasper has manifested, yes. um, he is going to <laughs> take off and fly 80 feet. Okay. And probably put him right there. So I'm going to put him right here. And then I am going to just move right there and start investigating. What is your height? My height? Uh, Six no, foot. No, no, no. I mean, what? what is that? What height are you on Jasper? What you, is your altitude? Are, yeah, what, what is your altitude? Oh, a Jasper's altitude? Uh, he's probably 30 feet in the air. Okay. Uh, this is still uh, springtime, so not all the trees have filled out, but if you are searching from the air, uh, just take that into consideration that I didn't draw the branches in any sort of, you know, leaf cover that's coming to life, uh, but you, you could have advantages and disadvantages on certain perceptions because of that so okay. just just bear that in mind that you're looking down through a canopy 
or a partial canopy anyway, uh, while you're up there. Uh, but so too will I take that into consideration if there's something perhaps you see because of that vantage point that others don't. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I could ride. I could ride him. It's not in front, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, mysterious man in trees, you see that this uh, this beach tiefling uh, hops aboard a, a fairy tale creature and starts flapping around in the air, uh, flying towards the uh, the old brick road. What kind of madness is all this? <laughs> Do they have any? I'm checking for uniforms or insignia of allegiance, or if any of them seem to end up operating under any form of official capacity. Uh, Mordecai, are you wearing your, your old Shadahara Empire military uniform? Nope, I am wearing Damn. my traditional garish garb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That does not end up proving any less in here implementation of guilt. <laughs> That's they right. As they say it. in the 41st millennium, innocence uh, doesn't uh, doesn't prove uh, innocence doesn't prove uh, you're not guilty or something like that. Anyway, uh, there is no <laughs> such thing as innocence; only varying degrees of guilt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> C- Celine, what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> I think <clears throat> I'm gonna begin searching this way. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25. Begin searching over this way. Okay, so you start walking towards the and, stream. Uh, yep, do you want, and do... I will... Oh, go ahead. I will, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll make a perception check just to see if I can't find anything. Yeah, like... sure. Uh, as your action, go ahead and make a perception. Oh, I didn't make one either, but my passive is 25, so... Ah. Uh, okay. Here's I have been spotted. Uh, from that angle... 27. I would say Morde- Mordecai, you don't spot Mysterious Figure. However, uh, from the from the, the canopy, um, you are... You, you get a good sight. Nothing in particular is <clears throat> catching your eye uh, from here. I mean, you might see, like, a, a ship far out at sea. Uh, nothing that wouldn't be unexpected. Um, you know, it doesn't look like it's flying pirate colors or even Shadahar, but it, it's not exactly close enough to tell. But it's also not an airship, and you know what those look like. Um, uh, so you're, you're just starting to scout around, and you're looking down through some of the branches of the trees here. Um, they're a little smaller on this side because the wind is blowing in. Uh, the wind is blowing in from this direction. Uh uh, so that's why you're getting a lot more brush and whatnot. So you're, you're getting a lay of the land, and you're you're kind of scouting out beyond the immediate area uh, in the sky. And so far, it doesn't look like there's really anyone or anything else here uh, besides you all. Um, from your from your eagle eye, anyway. Uh, Celine, as you are, uh, you're looking around here. You have a, a 27. You know, you, you go up and you're trying to adjust your eyes. Um, you know, appearing uh, at what's immediately around, you take a quick look at the tree, and your eyes kind of scan, um, you know, over, and... Just on an angle, uh, there may, there might be a figure in the brush in the distance. It's, it's a little tough to say. It, I don't, you don't think it's a branch, but there's, there's someone... Just barely? Maybe. Uh, so he's gonna be like, uh, hey guys. I think there's something over here, I'm not sure what. Does it look like a mushroom? Because that's what uh, I'm looking for. Possibly? Might be a fey even? Hey, I'll be there as soon as my turn comes up. Uh, which it will. <laughs> You're at the top of the initiative. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll also hold something very quickly that if Bright does come over to me, I'll point out where I saw. Okay, and just boo, over there. Right? What you do. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take the dash action. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and run over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
appears to be some form of pink blur. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a note. <laughs> um, so, uh, I didn't check how far I walked, but it was about 50 feet. Uh, I wasn't thinking about my water walk, so I'm not walking out onto the water. Okay. Took, I couldn't. I couldn't remember that while I was dashing. So, uh, I'm, all I'm going to do is, since I don't really have an action, all I'm going to do is is do the usual cursory glance and see if I see anything. Okay. You at least look like you're looking at things. Um. Mysterious figure. What are you doing? Well, it has been clear that I've been spotted, and so a. Figure wearing particularly odd garb, though perhaps familiar to you, ends up stepping around the corner. He doesn't seem to be hostile in the slightest. In fact, he seems more interested in uh, taking notes in a very odd leather bound parchment as he ends up approaching you. He himself may have odd tattoos of the sort, some, uh, perhaps familiar, but. As he ends up doing so, he just simply continues his observations and begins to end up tracking forward as though nothing was out of the ordinary, though his eyes do end up going towards the mythical creature that is currently flying overhead. Um, making you, you a few questions. You can like, around to try and catch it through the canopy. Uh, what? Uh, uh, go ahead and move your piece. To, things just seem to be strange around here. that should end up covering it. Okay. Um. Pink blur. <laughs> Norali. Um. Well, I'm, I'm not paying attention to the guy coming up. I'm searching for mesh. Okay. Next so tree. I'm, I'm gonna go up to the next tree and, and whistle for Fenry. Hmm. And keep and continue looking. Okay. Uh, Fenry's sniffing around uh, to a mysterious figure. I mean, you have this big dog sniffing at the base of a tree. Otherwise, seems, you know, it'd be normal, if, except for the fact that, you know, it's abnormally sized and can talk and speak in the accent of the enemy. <laughs> yes. It is concerning. Um, but if I understand this, the Pink Blurs currently has a much better view upon myself. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, you're just really right across the stream from each other. Fair enough. Um, to the pink blur, I have to end up near Spain. Um, have you spent any time in Green Shield, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I've been there. I was there for a few days. How do you? Then you would probably recognize the garb as um, Green Shield <gasps> Garrison. I recognize the garb as Green Shield Garrison. Yes. Uh, Couldn't you've seen a few of us there <laughs> wandering about here in the town. It's been known to happen, especially given what has been as of recent down there. But we'll get to that when we exchange proper hellos. Mordecai, yes, hello. Oh, I have. So, when I was in Green Shield, there weren't really that many garrison there. It was kind of a kind of a bummer of a time to be there because like half the town had disappeared. Yes. Mordecai? Uh, I see Bright conversing across the stream, because it's obviously yeah. she... Because I'm waving. Hi. Yeah. She has to speak loudly, so I'm going to move over with, uh, with Jasper towards the stream. Okay. And just wave. Yeah, you have a, you have a, a pretty clear view down uh, there's a figure that has walked out onto the old stone road. Uh, the figure suddenly looks a lot more nervous. <clears throat> Greetings. Uh, good day to you, um, sir and ma'am. Yeah. I didn't want to presume. Uh, Celine, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I... What I will do is, once I can get all tides to want to work, 
so I am going to walk down this way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No, just to just to besides bright right here. Okay. Hmm. So like, hey, I was right. There was someone down there. Yeah, you saw them first. Huh. Well, nothing gets past your powers of observation. Over there. Although I have to point out, he's not a mushroom. No, no, he is, he, he is not a mushroom, but uh, considering that he's the only other one out here, we should probably check this out, you know, just to be sure. Hmm. What's your name? Woman in robes. While he's n making notes, uh, Bright, it's yeah. your turn. <laughs> <laughs> again? Yeah, I'll just be dodging. Uh, okay. Um, oh, I, I'm so... sorry. Did, did I miss something on you, Selene, or otherwise we're cycling? No, no, no. no. It's just going to be dodging his Okay, action. gotcha. All right. Bright? Yeah. So I guess the thing to do is for me to... I can... Um... And I will use my water walk. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, <laughs> lots of weird... I just thought I'd, I'd come a little closer. Um, mm, the, I, if you be so polite as to maintain your distance at this current time, I would be very much appreciated, young lady. Okay, uh, I might take one or two more steps so that I'm not in the river, but otherwise, okay. I, oh God. <laughs> well, that's all, that's as far as I can go for right now. So. Apparently her kind has the ability to uh, avoid stage hazards. Yes, rather concerning. <laughs> but I have not had a lot of experience dealing with gnomes, so fascinating. Um, oh, th there is that family in Greenshield that makes really good gnomish food. Maybe you never really went there all that often, but at least a couple of the guys in the garrison uh, would talk about it. Uh, but it is your turn. Uh, what will you do, mysterious figure? Uh, given the fact that I would like to end up first end up asking, uh, who is it that I have the pleasure of speaking to if you would be kind enough to end up offering uh, names and any titles associated therewith uh yeah so my name's bright uh the... well okay so my name's treadle but most people call me bright sorry i got my introduction wrong i usually do this by rote um and i don't well uh, we're all part of Com chroma company but i also represent the gnomish calligraphers guild uh it's not the same as the Gnomish Bakers Guild. Sometimes they call themselves the Lollipop Guild. I don't represent them. But um, otherwise, yeah, hi. Very well, thank you very much, Trittle of the Gnomish Calligraphers Guild. It's an unwritten mechanic that gnomes actually get like 30 seconds of talk on a six second turn. So. <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> <laughs> You have to read wow. between the lines in the rule book, but it's there. <laughs> Do you go by uh, Miss? Uh, Mrs. Most people call me Bright. Yes, but it's an appropriate title, nevertheless. Yeah. Miss. Hey. Single. Got it. <laughs> well, that's quite. There's no shame in it. I'm sure you will end up finding somebody. You're still young, after all. Yeah. The person speaking to you is not actually all that old. Probably like really, really early thirties, if not late twenties. Uh, all right. Anything else from you then? Uh, otherwise, we're gonna go to Norlai. He's he's just taking down the names as okay. they end up going as uh, they present. He's not. And so Norlai, they don't get any closer. Are you are you answering on your turn, or are you just sort of caught up in mushroom hunting? And you're like, yeah, whatever. They're gonna do that. Uh, I'm, I'm mushroom hunting. I don't, I don't care about it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not answering. I didn't see any mushrooms over here? No. And, uh, and the, the pooch, uh, uh, goes over this way. It's, it's doing a, a ton of sniffing around here. No mushrooms yet. No OI. Keep looking. Oh, wow. We'll eventually. It's been so long since oh. I've been hunting. Uh, 
Um, all right, so Norali is still scampering through the woods looking for mushrooms. Uh, Mordecai, what are you doing? Um, I introduce myself. Okay. I am Mordecai. Uh, Mr. Miss... Mr. I'm assuming Mr. Mr. Yes. And do you have a last name? Her name, Mr. Mordecai? Silverleaf. I'm actually not too familiar with the silver leaves. Tell me what they all do the silver leaves do. Uh, we're from Oldport, and uh, last I heard, they were still owning property. Property owner, taxpayer, fantastic. Uh, Derek, roll an int. Uh, it's just an int check. Sure thing. Or, or investigation, if you have it, I suppose. I do. Okay. Um, you're writing this, and, you know, Mordecai, it, there's probably not only one tiefling named Mordecai uh, in, not. you know, in, in Mesomasco or all of Mesotopia. Uh, but you do remember hearing in Greenshield for a while, there was actually a, a popular performer that just sort of stopped performing. A lot of people were talking about was, was named Mordecai. Um, you know, is this is this that same one? Eh, you know, it's like saying John. I don't know if Mordecai Silverleaf is the John Smith of Tieflings here, but um, we did say Chroma Company. You did, and I uh, have taken note. Now, why? Um, what is this Chroma Company? If you don't mind me asking. Traveling troupe, performing band. <laughs> Oh, so um, the Chroma Company has spent some time in Greenshield, then. Yes, we have. Hmm, not too long ago, ended up uh, running out in from middle of contract, if I recall the case correctly. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> we did the same papers. Mm. There was no paperwork. No. I keep warning him to end up here doing it by the book, but no, gentleman's agreement and handshake is good enough. I tell them over and over again. Still, it's not legally binding. No, you're not under arrest. I have no qualms of being able to end up gay. <clears throat> Sorry. I have no want to end up arresting any of you, so do not end up yourself. <laughs> <Forgive me. laughs> Um, dear Norlai, that is the name. Yes, Norlai. Uh, last name? I can't give that to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're fully capable of giving that to me, Norlai. Thank you very uh, much. Please don't mince words with me. I am not able to give you that at this time. And why would that be? Outside of you being a liar, deceitful, or uh, trying to end up uh, provoking this into something more than it needs to be. Uh, I'm just not supposed to. You're not supposed to. Um, you, you see, Norlai, this is how you end up rising suspicions. Um, you seem to be prying quite a bit. Yes, it's part of the job. Allow me to end up introducing myself. Uh, formally, and allow me to end up here greeting you. I end up here going by investigator here, Jacob Stillwaters. Wait. Stillwaters? Stillwaters? I oh, no. Like, Stillwaters, like, Jade Stillwater? How do you know that name? He traveled with us for a while. So it's like, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 She's freaking no. out. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> and Jasper just lands where Mordecai is. Well, hey, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and step out of the water. But that's that's all the farther I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go too much closer to him because he's nervous. Um, so yeah, Jade 
Jade traveled with us. She was she was our companion. Are you related? You're you're her brother, aren't you? You told us about you. You're very important to her. He closes his notes for a moment. <coughs> as though he's speaking off the record. Yes. Yes. And she very important to me. And you are the first people to have come forward to openly say you have near seen and spoken and in fact traveled with her in almost ten years. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine now he gestures over to Hen or Lai on how suddenly not giving your last name suddenly ends up raising far more suspicions and now this little tidbit has ended up causing things to escalate quite quickly. Mm. I'm, I'm just looking for mushrooms, dude. I, I don't really... Plus, I don't really know you, so... That's fantastic. Does that also mean that... Uh, you end up tending to end up uh, avoiding the uh, police. Are, are you currently on Lucifer's? Is that what's going on here? No, I don't do drugs. God, um, I hate people who do drugs. Stupid brothers. A brother, you say? Um, no, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'll sit down. I'm going to sit down. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Well, at this point, I am going to... Unfortunately, now it is very clear by Miss Norlai that it, this can end up erupting into hostilities very quickly. And now... It sounds they like have... a threat. Norlai, we don't mean to be threatening. Yes, well, the uh, ability to end up suddenly standing upon a figure of legend and riding it about, having somebody who speaks with something that is clearly from the Shadow Har Empire, and, well... I'm talking about my dog. This is a boy. Does she have no understanding of the context of the situation? Uh, that works forever. a little... <laughs> on edge? And you understand on how this can escalate very quickly. So I am doing everything I can to avoid said situation. But That's great. That. Very good. So far, um, anyway. so far, Mr. Silverleaf, you have been most cooperative, to which I appreciate. Yeah, Miss, he kind of quickly opens up his notes. Miss Triddle, you have also been here, kind enough to end up coming forward. So I end up appreciating now, the one that is robed and seems to end up having some form of command in this location, I would end up performing or assuming a person of station. Yes? You, you I got confused. That. That's Selene. Mm. He kind of gestures like, you know what I'm going to ask, so... Uh, just, uh, go around over here. <laughs> 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 Dad, I'm nope. <laughs> Mushrooms won't be in the water. It'll be under, by the trees. <laughs> Actually, you would be surprised. There is a type of uh, fauna that does, in fact, end up uh, requiring to be waterlogged. In fact, uh, the standard equivalent is not much uh, different than plankton. Uh, 
that is not helping the situation. A shadow horse beast just went into the bush to not be seen now. Thank you very much for escalating. Um, well, we've landed and I am hopping off. Listen, friend, you... Presumptuous, but I will go with it. Mr. Stillwaters. Investigator, thank you. You said Jade hadn't... You hadn't heard from Jade in ten years? No, she ended up becoming a missing persons case near quite some time ago. Didn't know she was missing. No, not at all. To be fair, she didn't know she was her. Except for that one little t little bit. That's neither here nor there. That comment is going to need to be explained heavily. Well, as the uh, as the divine expert here in this little group, I suppose I will have to be the one to do it. Now. It <clears throat> yep, I'm going to walk over the water. Now, are you actually walking over the water, or are you currently walking through the water? Over the never... water. Over the uh, water. How, how do I put this? There's, there's, there. Uh, honestly, if I tell you this, there's not really a lot of malady. So, Jacob, was it? May I call you Jacob? I have some less than stellar news. Your sister. It's now currently, as far as I am aware, <clears throat> part of a flesh tree. You have no tact. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth, but you can be tactful. She really oh, I am being, I, 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 I am <laughs> being tactful. I'm leaving the other part of it out. Uh, so the hot potato goes to Bright. Bright, are you wishing to approach or take any actions or continue the dialogue? Uh, no, I'll continue the dialogue. I'll okay. just keep sitting here, though. Um, so... <coughs> oh, she, I mean, not the best way to put it. She, um... Tree outside of Green Shield that, that will eat people that get too close. And she got too close and the tree ate her. It's very... It's very much unnatural. It's definitely on our to-do list to go back and tree. But she's... Uh, I don't think we can save her. I don't think she's coming back. You can see whatever the writing device looks like a piece of charcoal in his hand. He's doing everything he can to not, like, snap it in two at this point. As he remains keeping smiling and trying to keep the conversation pleasant. So, what brings you all the way out here, then? I'm looking for mushrooms of some sort. Which is kind of odd, given the uh, what happened over in Greenshield not too long ago. Yes, uh, well, mushrooms are precursors. Mushrooms are signs that a phase circle is present, and we're looking for the mushrooms to take scientific samples and then destroy the circle. So you're trying to take, to make scientific uh, Selene, since you offer me no other title or last name being... I don't like have one. Mm. Un 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 unlike Norolao, who I'm sure does have one of some kind, I do not actually have one. It is just I'd like to actually roll an insight on that. Yeah. 
I, I do not believe that for a minute. <laughs> Celine, Celine doesn't really have a last name to speak of. She came from a family, but what if she did have a family name, she cast it off a long time ago. Uh, so what we can interpret, perhaps, from this is... Uh, I mean, she may have one, but it's irrelevant or it's not in use or she's defiant in not a, a not in a I'm trying to hide it from you way, but in it's it completely irrelevant uh, sort of it, it exists. It's irrelevant. Um, I'm not just trying to be coy. Yeah. <clears throat> well, doesn't that just make things all the more interesting? So. Norlai, are Fine. you continuing the search real quick while this is going on? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, Fen Fenry says if you're going to be on this side, I'm going to cross over the water and start sniffing these other trees. Yep. Uh, which uh, which he'll be able to just walk over the water to do. Yep. I am trying to keep an eye out for that freaking dog because I'm pretty sure yeah, while this conversation is going on, there's a high likelihood a Shadowheart yeah, Mastiff is about to try and tear my throat up coming up from the bushes right beside me. Well, it's uh, it's currently walking on top of a uh, swiftly flowing river, so there's that. Oh, you're, you're going to go over to Norlai? Yeah, I'm going to stick with Fenner. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, that, that's fine. He, he thought you were gonna continue down this bank, and so he started crossing. But no, if you if you want to cross too, I'll just sort of like look back, look over at you. Eh. Okay. Uh, we're technically down to Mordecai. If you want to take any actions while the conversation continues, I'm not taking any actions. I'm just staying put. Okay. I... Then we can continue a little bit of back and forth here as we're just sort of gently cycling through things. Precursor, you are currently trying to divulge in a scientific mes message something that is reserved for old wives' tales. Do I understand this correctly? Yes. <clears throat> Excellent. Except it's absolutely 100% free. Yes. yes. We're doing yes. research into old wives' tales. If you want to believe that? Well, given on how many times I've heard of a drunkard you know, two telling me that a pixie made me do it, or oh, that the yeah, demons have been here yeah, crawling at the walls again. Well, In this case, it's true. Yeah, that's probably yes, they and they was, to... and they would have said the same. Of course. But that again, most of them were high on Lucifer. <laughs> Which is becoming more of, a, <coughs> more of a pandemic these days. Mm. I'm fearful to say. I assure yes. you, I am lucid. It was not an accusation to you, Mr. Here, here, merely speculation. Um, given the activities of particular guilds and the way that the confusion has happened, it makes for uh, some interesting observations. Still. We can end up taking this as to end up meaning that we are in good context, at least now. And at this point, I do not see... I see odd activities, but not uh, not illegal ones. So I do not end up having any particular quarrel in that regard. Celine, are you taking any actions as, we, as we're cycling down to you? Uh, yeah, I'm a dodge. Sure. Because... Just being on 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 guard, generally on guard, because well, a guys come out of nowhere, and we're also looking for face stuff. Okay. So Celine's being kind of dodgy. Oh. Yes, yeah, so this is that is not helping matters. Um, <laughs> Celine appears to be ready for me to attack at any moment. Oh no 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 no! It's not you. <laughs> it's just when dealing with the Fey, they might come from anywhere. So you must always be prepared. You do understand that you're speaking like a mad person right now. We're all kind of mad. Right? <laughs> Your cue? <laughs> uh, um, so. <coughs> yeah, the, the Fey are real. And that shouldn't be any surprise because gnomes are descended from Fey, and I'm real because. Check me out. So. Um, That's it's a not, really not... not proven. <laughs> okay. uh, so, uh, yeah. So, 
Um, we're, we're all very happy to meet you, the investigator Stillwaters. And I assure you, none of us mean you any harm. We're just here to collect mushrooms. But yeah, I'm happy to talk to you about your sister as much as you'd like, because I know you have a lot to ask us. Oh, I assure you of that. But first things first, you say you're out here collecting mushrooms. Now, to what purpose? And if the Fae are in fact such a thing, then I have to end up presuming that it involves something to do with that. Um, which I also have to end up asking. And he reaches in, and uh, if I recall, I. Maddie, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Jacob currently has a interesting sample on this person right now, does he not? Brought uh, in from a, a green shield. A sample. Yes. I'm. I'm trying to remember. Let me check messages. I'm double checking before I make a claim. Is it something I sent you, like, this evening before the game? Yeah. <laughs> Given the, uh, discussions and... Oh, uh, you, you don't, you don't have it. You're there for, for it. Because okay. this, this would be, if it's gonna be, it'll be here. Or in a place like this. And you were going to investigate. That way you were able to substantiate any claims that you made. Fantastic. Well, at the current moment, I too am looking for samples of particular fungi and fauna. Specifically for a case that I am working so, at this point, it would just seem, simply seem that fate has ended up making our paths cross. <laughs> hey. But... You can say that, yeah. Mushrooms, and you can have any that are left over after that. And then the ones you don't want Fenry gets to eat. Um, are you sure that's a good is, idea? No, Herbert. Fenry? Herbert's, the, Herbert's, Fenry's no. the dog. Fenry's the dog. Herbert's the plant. Herbert likes the mushrooms. Uh, bright Nor any actions Nor from you? is a collector of strange and exotic animal. Yeah. And also plants. <laughs> uh, no actions from Bright? No, I just here to talk. Okay, uh, Jacob, then, with this, are you taking any actions? I am going to slowly approach very cautiously. I'm making sure that, uh, Stand up. I'm making sure I'm approaching slowly, mm -hmm. but I'm also making sure that my hands are here close enough here to my waist to end up drawing any form of protection that I may need, need just in case I need to defend myself. As I am still assessing the character of these odd individuals. Okay. Potentially, they could be insane. I mean listen to the claims that they're making but on the other hand rumor always starts somewhere okay uh norali mm -hmm. uh what are you doing uh, i'm just gonna stay around this area okay You uh, said the dog's name was... Make a perception, Norlai. Uh, Fenry. Fenry. Uh, ah, all right. Uh, so, Norlai, you... You think you're onto something here as uh, in between this, this cluster of trees where there's a bunch of underbrush and shade, and of course there's plenty of water flowing around uh, to make the ground very, uh, very wet. Uh, you think you you do see a uh, a circle of mushrooms that are just sort of, uh, that are growing kind of uh, in between the, the trees here. Where is it? Guys, I think I found it. Benny, come, come see what a mushroom smells like. 
Hey, I'll be right there. <clears throat> well then, Mr. Silverleaf, Miss Trittle, and Miss Hersling, shall we be off? He kind of all of a sudden looks at the weird thing that his, Mr. Silverleaf is currently, well, flew in on. Not 100% sure if it's going to eat him or not. It looks gentle. <laughs> yes. It's a menacing and so do you. <laughs> Uh, Mordecai, what are you doing then? Or is is uh, Norlai, are you doing anything else real quick before we go to Mordecai? Um, are you just shouting for everyone? I'm shouting for everyone. Okay. Mordecai? I am going to uh, hop back on Jasper uh -huh. and go over this way. Okay. Make a con save. Con save? Oh, yes. It's, it's moving water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm flying like twenty feet up. <laughs> yep. Hey, you have oh. you have advantage on this. Oh, I do. Yeah. Okay. It's moving water. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Eh, no, yeah. It's proceeding. I'll, I'll I'll give it to you for moving water too. It, you've been you've been trying to build up a resistance here. That's fine. Ooh, that's a crit. <gasps> oh. All right. Oh boy. Moving water. Pfft. I'll go bathing in it next time. But not this time. And you cross <laughs> without damage. It tingles. It tingles, but it, you don't take any acid damage. Perfect. And what do I see? Uh, sure enough, uh, you know, th there's some parts that disappear into the into the the dark shadows and the scrub brush, uh, and some are growing sort of in the the crooks of the roots of the of the tree, uh, of the trees here. But there does appear to be a circle of mushrooms uh, that's growing here. Okay. Um, I am going to hop down and I'm going to just look and s look at them and see if it looks like I can pick one up and destroy the circle that way. Okay. Uh, sure. You, you hop down and, uh, you want to go and try and pluck one. Okay. Uh, you, you put your fingers on it and you you try and it just it almost feels stuck to the soil or something mm -hmm. or it's, it has if like I, deep roots in the in the wood or whatever I want to take a dagger and try and like cut it off okay <laughs> um go ahead and uh, make a constitution saving throw that does not have advantage on it All right mm -hmm. so. Uh, can I birthday crit that? If you wish. I would like to. Okay. Um, so you you take your dagger and you go to to start digging uh, into the into the soil to try and pop the thing up. And as you do, and you you, you kind of have a, a a hold of it, and you're digging, and uh, as you're pulling, the mushroom releases <clears throat> a bunch of spores in your face. Oh. Um, and, uh, just... Does that what... affect me if I don't have to breathe? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, as this is, uh, it, it, it's spores, but it's not an inhaled poison kind of a thing. Uh, mm. otherwise, I, I would give that to you, or I would have given you advantage or something, because, uh, I don't know, you might have accidentally reflexively breathed or something, but this is more of just, um, this just, boo happens mm -hmm. um and uh and, and so sure you uh there's this puff that's coming at you and you you turn your head just in time and uh, you fall back uh with that with that just big save and you all see that mordecai's pulled up like a plump child-sized mushroom that this little mushroom was just sort of like like a finger that it was poking up above the soil and this uh this kind of plump mushroom uh whoops <laughs> select tool Here, let's make you a little bit bigger to see uh, i guess that's too big all right now it'll just have to be that size um and so this thing uh 
is pulled up out of the ground and is looking at Mordecai. And now we come down, uh, well, kind of. Let me see something real quick. Okay, uh, Celine, go ahead and go. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, give me a second. I am... Hmm, actually. Give me a second. Hmm. I'm going yep, to change to movement. I'm going to move out over the water here. So I'll just stand there. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to ready a spell. Okay. Um, That's ready. I have ready action cast a spell. So mm -hmm. I will leave that at there for the moment. Well, you've got to tell me the spell and the condition. The spell is Flame Strike. Okay, and what's the condition that in which you're going to cast it? Uh, and the condition will be, as soon as I see anything go south over there. What south? Geographical uh, south? Uh, <laughs> no, not geographical south. I mean, like, metaphorical south, as in, like, creatures come out and start attacking us. Okay, so if someone's attacked, you're going to cast a, a Flame Strike on a Mushroom. On on a on a point, yes. Okay. Oh, all right. Sure, sure. It is a point. Okay. Uh, we come up to bright. Oh, uh, so Mr. Stillwaters, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to run off. Uh, but I promise I'll come back and talk to you in just a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, that's my movement, and then. Legs. They don't go very far. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also cast a Misty Step. Ooh. So I can go 30 more feet without having to use... I'll go to here. Poof. Um, and Peggy Sue's coming too. You can see she's, she's here. She's right here. Um, and then I'm going to tell everyone to stand back. And then I'm going to use my Mold Earth into my spells, and I'll see if I can dig up a mushroom from over, over about over here. The, with the mold earth. I'm just gonna, okay. like, excavate all the dirt that surrounds the mushroom, and just move it up and plop it down outside of the circle. Sure. Okay, so you wiggle your fingers and uh, and just this child-sized mushroom, similar like it had it had like its finger sticking above the ground and its finger was like a little mushroom. Um, it bloop, it kind of gets pushed up and okay. Anything else, Bray? No, it's it's safer if we stand back. Uh, they they can't poof you if if you. And and you you make a good point because as soon as it's dug up, there's a like a spore cloud. Um, okay. Uh, after you, we actually. Oh, I 
All right, so uh, the earth all around is going to wiggle, and you get you get eight of these, like, toddler-sized mushrooms just wiggling up, and uh, they are going to... Um, they are going to uh, uh, start spraying some spores around. Uh, and so, Mordecai, uh, I am going to need... I'm going to need you to make another constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, so, the... Uh, uh, this one here just kind of uh, showers you with these uh, spores, and you you suddenly just feel um, you just feel so just so good. You just whatever, man. Like why even do anything? Am I stunned? Yes. <laughs> they were Good guess. <laughs> no, Good. I lied. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe from your younger days, this is, but this is certainly a familiar feeling is, as this thing just kind of pops up and showers you with these, these uh, spores. Um, and uh, just, yeah. Uh, now I am going to need... Uh, I'm going to need uh, Jasper uh, needs to do the same thing, please. All right. 16 for Jasper. Okay, uh, so Jasper just kind of holds its head up and uh, and uh, says no to drugs. Um, Norali, uh I need you, please, to uh, also make a Constitution saving throw. Oof. Norlai says no to drugs. Um, but l let's see if you can hold out under peer pressure, because where one tried to get you under the influence, the other's going to try and do the same thing. Uh, and also, Herbert is going nuts in this pot, by the way. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, please. No, Norali is straight edge. Um, all right. Uh, and uh, there's no one else I can really bully with this on a on a first uh, first turn here. Uh, so uh, they are. Uh, that's it. We've had some mushrooms kind of pop up, and uh, for those that are in the brush because of their size. Uh, uh, just keep in mind the light uh, and or the cover that they're receiving from the brush and or shadow. Um, if any of you wish to take actions against it. Uh, Jacob, we now come to you. Now, I am here in a commotion, and I need to end up uh, intervening as quickly as possible. That being said, I believe I can get up to 20 feet before I start taking difficult terrain. And it's going to be I can move that would be 30, 40, 50, 60, Well, 70. It, you're going to hit difficult in the brush, so we have, uh, this would be 10 feet, and then, so th this 10, would be 15, 20, 20 25, 30, and then uh, you're swimming at that point, uh, so then you could move another three, so you could end up here, if you uh, if you dash, move and dash. Don't have a choice. Uh, all right, give me an athletics also, as you're in a more powerful part of the stream where they're merging. Uh, of course. And you can move one more square. There we go. You can move up if you wish. You can move one more square diagonally forward. I must. Okay, then you're placed in the right position. Oh yeah, you dive in the water in your perfect form. Spent. They say still waters for a reason. <laughs> um, okay, so you're in, in in fighting the current here. Uh, Norlai, we come back to you. And uh, what is happening? All right. Uh, 
Okay. I am going to use Mage Hand on Herbert to move him. And then I am going to use Quick and Skull so I can cast Thunder Wave. Just have two more. Okay. And roll a d20 for me, please. Unless you want, unless you want to invoke the chaos, but that's um, up to yeah. you. No, all right. Um, all right. Uh, so I need to make a Constitution saving throw, and you're going to be hitting what? Three of them? Um, it's the fifteen foot cube, yeah. 15. So oh, it's, it's a cube. Uh, okay. It's going to hit the one here as well. What was this about my cube? Okay, so you want to hit just those two? Uh, no, I'm going to hit... It's around... It's centered on me, so I'm going to be hitting that one. I'm going to be hitting the three in front of me, and then the one diagonal of north. That's too far. Well, that's right, 15 that's... feet. That's 15 feet, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. I uh, I was thinking. All right, nope, never mind. Uh, yeah, you you're in the middle. All right, so it, it's a in in fourth edition. Uh, we called those uh, bursts. So it's a burst off of you. Uh, I was thinking it was uh, it was something else. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. And so I'm going to roll 4d20, and we're just going to start from the top and go to the bottom with them. Slash roll 4d20. And do I get to add anything? Maybe? The green one is going to have a uh, slightly different number. Uh, all right, so the top one, top purple, is going to fail. Uh, the bottom, uh, the bottom is going to pass. The green, even with a different number, is going to fail, and um, the bottom purple is going to fail. Uh, actually, can you take uh, uh, a d4 off of that 15 for me? Sure. Slash roll 1d4. Minus 1. And okay. he will no longer pass. Or... Hang on, so that's so that would have been a oh it, that added one to the total for the thirty two okay so hang on yeah it did so that would have been uh, all right so we're, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go back and it'll still be a fifteen then because I added one and then I subtracted one so it's still a fifteen which is your spell save so that this uh, this one is still safe is it yeah so this one was a two. This one was a 15, Whoa. but they each had a plus one. Uh, so the, it was a 15 plus one, but minus one from the bend luck. And unless I miss something from your... Uh, unless I miss something, your DC was 15, correct? Yeah. Isn't that just... Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. I'm really confused. Okay, so go ahead and uh, give me the damage, please. Okay. Uh, the damage was nine. Okay, that's the full damage, correct? Yeah. All right, so we have... Nine. And then the ones that failed get pushed back. Ten there feet, you said? Um, so I guess, I don't, no, well, this is still technically away from you, one, two, there we go. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Anything else, Norlai? Uh, no, that's it. All right, Mordecai, uh, you are but you, you're stunned, but you can repeat the Constitution saving throw at the end. Okay, so it's not oh. it doesn't just last a turn. Uh, no, it, it has a duration, uh, but you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. Okay, then I am going to. Constitution saving throw from Mordecai because I'm stunned because that's all I can do. Okay. It's a fourteen. Okay, you start, you start shaking it off and and coming back from whatever just awesome, awesome feelings they were giving you. And then Jasper is going to attack this one, and he has multi attack, so he can attack once with his beak and once with his claws. Okay. That is a oh. crit. Okay. <laughs> so many crit. crit speak. For 18 damage. Okay. Uh, Jasper. Oh, go ahead. And another 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Jasper eats the mushroom. And it's it's gone. Like okay. it's it's destroyed. Ah. Jasper, we're supposed to save those. For <laughs> Mr. Halver. Herbert wanted one, too. Um, stop scrolling down. Like, well, Tony, stop it. Celine, unless there's anything else you want to do, Mordecai? Or I, I guess um, your turn your, your turn was over, but if there's anything you want Jasper to do. No, nah, Jasper's going to stay put. Okay, Celine. Hmm, yeah. So I'm going to be doing a thing. Just checking radiuses. So, uh, set it on this point that I'm going to ping as soon as I can. Since it on this point right here. Okay. The 30 foot radius. Uh. The people around, so Mordecai Bright. Jacob and Norali, along with all of the very. That we'll reminds see. me, sh shouldn't there have been a flame strike at some point? Yeah. Uh, no, oh. the trigger never went off. Because it was because it was attacked, and there was there was nobody who was actually like attacked by the creature. Okay. It was okay. only spores. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not as overt. I, I guess if you want the flame strike, otherwise it was just kind of a. Uh, Mordecai getting okay. dusted. It's a, it's, it's yeah, a right. The um, speaking, you can avoid the trigger and just have it go off if you want. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. Um, because it doesn't spend a spell slot until you actually come. Or and if you do end up concentrating it on it until on um, on your next okay. turn, you can just let it go on then, your next turn, which is what exactly you... what I'm going to do. Okay, what well, what are you dropping then? It will be a flame strike. Yes. Um, so basically. I'm just explaining a bit of flavor. So it's going to be centered on... i just going to make sure I have my spot right. Yeah. No. Right here. So it will, it will, get, it will get them all. Oh, um, Flame Strike's not a single target? No. It's an area. Um, what was so, I thinking of then? Oh, probably the cantrip. Yeah, Sacred Flame. Um, so what the, uh, the, 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 the sapient members of the party will see is this, uh, abo above the point, this is glimmering image of, uh, one of the angels of death that Selene has had a habit of summoning when she uses her spirit mm -hmm. guardians. And it's, and, uh, it swings its scythe down. The point landing right here. Well, I need to swap back to select point. Right here. And a loud crack as a massive um, 40 foot high, 30 foot radius. And I made sure to calculate it so it'll, it'll only hit the creatures, not Norali or Mordecai or any of the animals. Any of the other animals. Um, there will be this massive crack as a 40 foot high 30 foot radius cylinder of radiant magical energy 
explodes from that point. And that will be at that level there. So it's a deck safe. Um, all right, Flame Strike has a 10 foot radius, unless I'm missing something. Uh, is it 10 feet? I don't think yeah. it's 10 feet. 10 foot radius, 40 height cylinder. Oh, is it 10 foot, not 30 foot? Oh, I was thinking of the other spell. All right, yeah, no, don't mind me. That'll be centered, uh, instead of being over there, that'll be centered in the middle here. Oof. <laughs> <coughs> so it'll miss, uh,. So no, that's that's that, that's my bad. My apologies. I was and thinking of these Dorn, are a dexterity. Is a it's a dexterity save, yes. All right. I won't hit the two at the bottom there, but I'll hit the other one. Whoop. All oh. right. So top purple passes. Uh, going counterclockwise, mid purple fails, green passes. Oh, is there only four? Uh, then there's five. Or five. That's five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then that one. Uh, th then both the other two purples are gonna fail. All right, and it's twenty-five damage. Eleven fire four. Okay. So that is going to be. If they're vulnerable to fire, that'd be very nice. All right, so those ones were all damaged. And so what happens is uh, all five of them are consumed in flame. And um, find it real quick here. I will make this. I'll make this a bright yellow. Um, this is all on fire now. <laughs> that part of the tree. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. I can I can deal with that. All right. We now come up to bright. Uh, it's it's it is much brighter in front of you. Uh, there is a mushroom, a magical creature, I'm hearing a fluffy sheep. and a small forest fire. Oh, yeah, I put myself on mute because it was a long wait. Okay, so this is a mushroom creature here. Yes. What about this in the middle? Is that a mushroom creature? No, that's no. the that's the uh, center for the flame strike. Okay, so there's no creature there. No. So basically, there's only three Oops. mushrooms left alive. Yes. So you guys, you're not being very okay. careful with the mushrooms. You're being very, oh, no, very clumsy. I'm, 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 no, I'm just letting you guys go going again, getting the rest, because it's going to be easier to collect samples after most of them have been eliminated. You needed half a dozen. Now there's only three left. You're, it's half a I half thought, a dozen. I guess you need 18 intelligence to count to six. Or <laughs> I actually didn't know how much we needed because I didn't hear. I mean, we didn't say we couldn't. You were there. <laughs> no, I mean I, as in like me, did not hear that. Otherwise, what's, I wouldn't have done that. What's Bright doing? It's alright. There'll be some scorched ones. It's alright. Okay, so um, I'm gonna ask. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. Uh, I'm gonna stand out of the uh, out of the water for just a minute. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask Peggy Sue if she wouldn't mind hippity hopping over here to this one. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cast a Shocking Grasp through her onto this mushroom. Okay. Um, um, let's check out green. Shocking Grasp, I think, is... Um, I had to make a... 
is that an a attack? Type? I don't think I made that attack yeah. very well. Okay, uh, 12 will not hit. Good. Okay, um, so... she can hippity hop back <laughs> one step. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get an AO on Peggy Sue, though, correct? Unless there's a mitigation for that? Um, I mean, you're gonna roll a five. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> I'm curious, though. Okay. That wasn't a five, but, uh, all right. So, uh, Bright, you saw that you, you saw a glimpse, like you're, you just get that b b pulse in your mind and, uh, the reality in which you saw this, uh, mushroom, uh, squash Peggy Sue does not come to pass. This is, this is, this is why I love Divino Wizards. Cause it's like, no, you roll this. Uh, <laughs> what, what, no, 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 that's what you roll. This is what you roll. Anything else from your Bright? Uh, no, I guess that's all. Okay. Um, so this little child-sized mushroom is going to come screaming up to you. Okay. And... It's a mandragora. Uh, this one... Hmm. Is going to... Move here, and the other one is going to uh, it's going to move into the brush and uh, presumably disappear. Uh, let's find out. Uh, plus anything on my end, so. Uh, one runs into the brush and bees, uh, and one uh, the green one's gonna run up onto bright, and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, I roll an 11 plus, um, <laughs> for a total of 17. Okay. How'd you know? Um, <laughs> all right. So it, it goes and it, it sprays a bunch of spores up at you. Um, and you're able to like hold your breath and waft it away. Oh, I just, I just go into bullet time and I avoid each and every <laughs> spore from going up my nose. <laughs> uh, however, it will also try and take a swing at you. Uh, cause okay. it, it's an aggressive little, uh, spud here. Uh, all right. And it's, uh, it kind of got lost in its own cloud and kind of like tried to take a swing, but the momentum just sort of like carried it around in kind of a cute circle and it, it teeters a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. Then that means I need, uh, I need, uh, ba -ba 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 Jasper to make a constitution save, please. All right. Okay, um, so this thing is just like crop dusting the battlefield with spores, and y'all are just holding your breath. Um, all right, so that's my I turn. Could, I mean, honestly, if I if if they want if you want me to crop dust the battlefield, I can do that. Uh, One of my domain spells allows me to do. <laughs> Jacob, what are you doing then? I think Derek's asleep. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, I'm I'm awake. Oh, he's right. trying to figure out what he's going to yep. do. What do you yeah. doing here? Not much of an option here, truthfully. Um, well, you, you do have a little duder right here. Yeah, but I think that's going to require my entire movement to get out and doesn't put me in a good position. I mean, really, okay. position's all I got. Well, I mean, uh, you could move 20 feet to here, right? Yeah, 20 feet would get you under the shore. And then attack him. Yeah, you can be 20 feet to get onto the shore, and there's one right there that you can attack. Yes, but... Sample. You... So, you might be fine with destroying evidence uh, the second it becomes an <laughs> inconvenience? I mean, if you want to, like, flat blade it, or if you want to take your pommel and just go... <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. You just conk it with a 
Don't get like your pummel. It open. Unless you brought a golf club, I guess you could kind of thwack it into the river or something, but. <laughs> you forgot what I used. Um. Yeah. And we'll end up getting there. Oof. And that's a bop on the head. And will that also hit? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, like, you come down with the Warhammer, and mm -hmm. just once, and it spins, and you come back, and it, boom, it spins in the other direction, and this thing is just, it's its wobbling and kind of, like, tottering around in a circle. Whoop. If I get if I blow in its general direction, will it just fall over? Possibly. Do you have a breath weapon attack? <laughs> yes. L allow me to roll halitosis. <laughs> um, Norali, what are you doing then? As uh, as Jacob's it's considering pointing. his uh, his his uh, next move here with the the wobbly uh, the wobbly mushroom, kind of sounds like a bar. Why you should go after the one that that's running away. It's hiding though. It it is presumably somewhere in the brush. Yeah. That moved. Well, I was because it's somewhere <laughs> in the brush, it's not exactly like in this space, yeah. but Yeah. What do? I don't I don't exactly know. I am going to I'm going to Ray of Frost. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, that's a cantrip, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, Bright, uh, emerging, emerging through this fire uh, of the underbrush, a Ray of Frost just kind of like slams into the ground between you and the mushroom. And both you and the mushroom just sort of like look down... Like, look down at the frozen grass that's it, it, all, like, you know, cold and, and kind of foggy. And kind of look back through the flames and look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Norlai? Um, uh, I'm going to... Oops. Fortunately, that, that ray of frost got a little melty going through the fire, so you probably got a little splattered, too. Here. Okay. And just try to see if I can see the other mushroom. Uh, you'll have to use a an action for a perception or some other sort okay. of detection. Um, so okay. you you don't see one obviously. I mean, if it was just kind of I don't know if it just sort of like kind of juked out of the way, but it was actually here, you'd see it without needing to roll anything. But it's you do not see it, so it's presumably still hidden. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, Mordecai. Uh, you are on the fringe of an expanding forest fire. What are you doing? Um, I'm moving back to right here. Okay. But then I am shooting this guy with a uh, short bow. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm leaning on a monitor. Maybe it's just habit. It's kind of like leaning when you're playing Mario Kart. Uh, I think you get a shot on that. Uh, there's the tree that's in the way, though. Um, Don't I? I could give it half cover. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it would because we'd have to go from the uppermost corner uh, to try and get a shot here. Oh, okay. Uh, the sixteen hit with half cover then. That's half cover's not disadvantage. It's a plus two, isn't it? It's plus two at yep. AC. Uh, it still hits. You are just All that right. good. Five damage. Okay. Noted. Pew. Wait, why are you using the Shadow Hour longer the short sword and not your ring? Oh, that was supposed to be the short bow, never mind. But, uh, yeah, same. The hit. damage is the same. Yeah. Okay. Pew! Uh, plus two, actually, because the short bow has a plus two on it. Oh. Oh, so oh then, yeah. Alright. Then Jasper is going to attack this one. He's gonna use his claws. For 21. Yep, hits. For 7. Okay. 
and uh does that one go down yeah so this thing was kind of spinning in a circle and uh and jasper just kind of holds the claws out and makes that kind of like zucchini pasta that's all the rage now uh <laughs> where you take a, a like a whatever and you spin it and it curl it curly cues yeah. so you kind of have like a you, you have a curly fry mushroom okay if it if it goes down then that's all his turn that's all he's doing okay because like he's um now we come down to Celine. Yep. Whoop. Whoa, don't scroll up there. I did not yeah. go up there. It's scrolling up for some reason, even though I'm just oh, trying to move it down. No, wrong way. Wrong way. What the hell are you doing? Stop that. Are where I can't find you on the map. I, I, where are you? You know, I am I, I am moving, it's just it's doing a thing. Where I grab the the token and it's scrolling me to the top. Yeah, that's <laughs> what is going on uh, here. You I are, don't know. It's, you're it's like back really here or something. True. Yeah. No, I'm moving down to next to bright. Okay. Way to go into and GPS then, mode and track you. Yeah, because uh, my the, it, this is just being weird for some reason. Um, and I am going to attack with the sunblade. To, uh, you know, attempt to basically, you know, hey, don't incinerate it, please. Turn it into samples. No, it's radiant damage this time. Okay, sixteen hits. Uh, and it'll be uh ten radiant. Okay. Right. And. Six necrotic. Okay. Am I gonna use that? Mm, actually, yeah. No, I'll, 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 I'll be sure that uh, it's 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 still sampleable, but uber dead. I'm also going to use uh, Child Divinity Touch of Death, so that'll be twenty-five more damage. So okay. there's thirty-one necrotic and ten radiant. So you come up to this mushroom, <laughs> this toddler-sized mushroom. I'm so I'm just overkill. like, I'm just like tap, point. It's, you you thrust your in one piece. you thrust your microwave blade into it and turn it on high for thirty seconds, and then you channel necrotic energy through it as well, and this thing just kind of shrivels and kind of like almost like it. liquefies as as the necrotic energy is pouring through it. Uh, and, if uh, it liquefies, then I'll pull out a vial of protein to start collecting it. It, it turns into uh, a, a mushroom soup. Yeah, no, I'll collect it in the vials. Any sample's a good sample. <laughs> and also, um, also, uh, freehand, yellow. The forest fire spreads. And I can deal with that though. Uh, we have da, 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 da. Jasper takes nine fire damage. Uh, can I save from that? Or no? No, th this would be just sort of like aura because he's standing in it. Uh, okay. it's it's happening. All right. Um, we go back up to the top. Uh, bright. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna ask Peggy Sue to hop out into the middle of the stream uh -huh. where it's safe. Yep, get a little water bug. I know this this reminds you of when you were a frog, but but you're not. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, frustration. One is escaping, um, and also there's a fire. So, uh, so the terrain around say... here. What is the what type of the terrain is it? It's uh, grass, like kind of low like ankle well probably be higher than ankle probably like knee high grass to you but or whatever mid mid shin uh but all, all the white here is is kind of woodland grass it doesn't get thick into briars and brambles whoop, until you yeah. until you get to the green squiggles okay um Celine, no. you said you could put out the fire i could put out the fire you go deal with the other one i'll put out the fire in that case uh i'm gonna go one two three four five over here okay um and i'm gonna start looking for the other mushroom that's escaping sure uh make a perception uh, 
Uh, you don't see it, unfortunately. It it's you probably don't see it, 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 unless it ran out of the out of the area through the shadow or whatever. Uh, it it's pr it could be in this little brush somewhere here, or it could have slunk through the shadows and is off someplace else. But you don't <laughs> see it. If, if it went into if it left the bush, though, I would have been able. To. Presumably, yeah. Uh, I'm just narrating what Bright would conclude. Hey, well, that's all. Okay. Uh, it, it, we now have its turn. And, well, the one is, uh, the one is a paleo version of pasta right now, so it's not really doing anything. Uh, the other one, uh, is somewhere... Uh, it is somewhere doing something. Okay. We now come down to Jacob. Uh, Jacob, you have, uh, you have a, a curly Q cut mushroom by you. Uh, there's, uh, a mythical beast standing in front of you that's partially on fire. And what do you do? To be clear, this subject is detained, yes. It's not going anywhere, yeah. <laughs> and I am aware of this one, or is this no. the one that is currently being... Mm. If that is the case... Uh, hmm. Don't exactly have a lot of options at this point. I suppose at this point, the best option is to end up making sure that the sub uh, suspect... Is or sample, depending on which new route you wish to end discussing your turn, is taken uh, away from the fire and further harm. That is a so, good move. <laughs> uh, Take the vegetation away from the forest fire. Yes, it's at this point I shall uh, do so in detaining the creature to the best of my abilities with whatever oddities I have. I'm sorry, they don't build manacles for mushrooms. Uh, sure. So you read it its rights as you're scooping the remains up. Uh, are you going back into the water, or what, not, what are you doing? Not, not by choice, but I, it would be best to end up doing so and dragging it along. Sure. Uh, go ahead and um, make a uh, an athletics. Is it really that heavy? No, th this is against the current. Ah. Didn't realize it went off that deep. Mm. Sudden drop off. Nah, you you got this. Yeah, even uh, where the two even where the two streams are converging, you're able to navigate the turbulent waters. Hmm. Well, I spent a lot of time swimming in my youth. Um. Uh, so this is uh, you scooped it up. That can be an item interaction. So if you if you dive back in from where you're standing, you could go one, two, three, four, five. You could actually reach. Uh, the brush on the other side if you just wanted to dash. That would be preferable. Sure. All right. So you have um, you have a sample, and you just sort of power swam across the, the, the stream here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very well, then. Uh, Norlai. Mm -hmm. uh, Herbert is... Herbert's, like, freaking out uh, with all the fire, and you have a plant creature that is really close to a spreading fire. Uh, what are you going to do here? Uh, I'm going to grab him with Mage Hand. Okay. Just, uh... Ooh. Nah, and range your fuck off through um, the back fence. <laughs> I just bring him to me. Okay. And I'm going to tell uh, Fenry to go over to the water. Boop. Or actually to probably just come over to me as well. Okay. Uh, Mordecai, uh, the forest fire rages in front of you, um, and your mount is uh, getting some some singed feathers. What are you doing? Um, Jasper is going to move into the water. So okay. It's no longer on fire. The fire gets an attack of opportunity. Just kidding. <laughs> This is why I always take the spell Detect Fire Range Touch. <laughs> I'm going to go right here, and I 
want to actively look for anything that disappeared. Uh, sure. Make a uh, make a perception. Poof. Uh, unfortunately, uh, maybe, maybe it's the the glare of the the. I mean, you're in a shadow, but you have the fire flickering all around you. It's making you really uncomfortable. You don't sweat anymore, but uh, you would be. Uh, and uh, you're you're not seeing anything, so it might have escaped or it's super well hidden. Um, yep. All right, then we come back down to Celine. What's yes. Celine doing? I you see that cube right there? That that square? Yes. Uh, it is going to be filled with rain. I cast a second level create or destroy water, Ooh. casting create. And the water falls as rain in a 35-foot cube, extinguishing exposed flames. Okay. Uh, so, Celine makes it rain. Um, <laughs> uh, well, that was it, correct? Yep, um... Yeah, no, that's all. Okay. Uh, bright. Uh, rain is starting to fall on the on the miniature forest fire. Uh, the flames look like they're being doused. Uh, of course, though, you should always douse your flames. Uh, your campfire, stir the ashes, and then douse it again. Um, but what would you like to do here, uh, aside from observe uh, Smokey the Bear's advice? Hey, um, so... I guess the only thing I have to do is one, two, three. I'll come over here uh, where the mushroom appears to have recently disappeared. And I want to search for the mushroom again. Sure. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you are, you're searching around in there and uh, where we have, uh, where we have brush and shadow is creating darkness and uh, so you see that as dim light. So we're going to have to take the nine uh, in that case because you're searching in, in the darkness here uh, where the you shadow and the brush. Because, How dark is it? Because I well, because mean... darkness darkness goes down to dim light and any, and any dim light, observance dim in dim light is at disadvantage. On so, perception checks, we're relying on sight. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that dark. I thought it was just like... It's like daylight out, isn't it? Yeah. It, yeah, so the, the daylight's over here. And so that's why I drew shadows off of all of the trees and the buildings. Uh, because then you have bright light everywhere there's except where there's shadow, which was dim light. And then the water was dim light. So if you have a shadow over water, it's dark. Or if, you have, uh, if you're in the brush, it's dim. And if you have a shadow in the brush, it's dark. Yeah. No, I, 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 I got it. Yeah, no, it'd be a nine. So. Hey. I guess. <laughs> what the heck? I, I I explained the battlefield conditions at the onset, so yeah. Uh, if if there are uh, questions, but I'm not trying to I'm not trying to pull something fast on you here. That I, I said this at the beginning, uh, for for right, actions. Fine. So, um, okay. Uh, so bright, you're searching around, and uh, nothing is uh, nothing's quite stirring, uh, except the thing you're trying to find as you are uh, scurrying around and you have your nose sniffing through the underbrush and uh, right beside you. Oh, I found it guys. I need you to make a con save. Okay. Well, I'm fresh out of importance. 21. That doesn't matter. <laughs> you make your own luck. Um, all right. So it tries to, Puff you and uh, and you said no to the poof poof. Uh, I have enough poofs already. And now it's over to Jacob. Uh, Jacob, you're across the bank. Are you doing anything in particular? At uh, this is a particular point, I am potentially end up stuff. This is a you say it's about the size of a a baby. Yeah, like a toddler. Yeah, this correctly. Yeah, it's yes. Hmm. Well, and we've observed this thing able to produce spores. Is it just out of its head? Is there a particular direction it comes from? Uh, 
it. I mean, maybe its head from the, the cap that it has. It also has these little mushroom fingers. Hmm. Well, then I guess that at this point I'm going to end up using that uh, bit of rope and, well, I have this wonderful pouch here. Good enough. But trying not to hurt the little guy, just trying to end up making sure that he doesn't end up making my life particularly difficult as I detain slash arrest. Yeah. If you want to count it as such, but it, it, it's an item at this point in time. There's, there's, <laughs> there's no life energy in this thing. <laughs> uh, oh, none? No, this this thing has been swirl like uh, it, it, it's a bunch of curly fries right now. What's the pity? Well, at the very least, how's that fire doing? Uh, it is being doused. Uh, so it's doubtful it's going to spread, and it's probably going to go away here soon. Um, to be clear, it was, uh, the one they call Selene that it, it caused it. Is that correct? Uh, the fire She's also the one Hmm. Destruction of property. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Norlai, uh, what are you doing? There, there's a little kind of a... In, in one of the bushes, and, uh, Bright kind of, like, sneezes or goes, Ah! It's here. Uh, but you have a um, sneaky little mushroom that, uh, was able to, to slip through the, the, the shadow and everything to get here. I'm debating between me handing Herbert over there to eat it. Okay. Or just Ray of Frosting. Your choice. Uh, I'll do, um, I can see it, right? Uh, it's going to have see. cover because it's in, it's in the brush. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're still going to hit it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, bright this thing kind of, and you just see ice crystals starting to form on it. Uh, it's not unconscious or dead or anything along those lines, but it's definitely, uh, it, it got zapped. Uh, speed is also reduced by 10. That is correct. Okay. Uh, anything else from you, Norlai? Otherwise, we're going to go to Mordecai. Uh, oh, I could tell, um... Henry to go attack it. Would you like to? Yes. Rawr. If I'm... Uh, I don't have the set. Uh, 13, and that'll be a plus 3. Hits. That'll be another four damage. Okay. Uh, so he kind of comes over and... Uh, and I also need to make a DC 11 strength save or be knocked prone. Oh, snap. Yes. Okay. Uh, so he comes over and just sort of... He yes. plucks the frosty mushroom ah, up from the ground and ah, slams it. And kind of puts a paw on it. <laughs> we have a prone mushroom. Um, oh no, I, I have the scent. I found a mushroom. Good boy. <laughs> you can find one there. Don't eat it. <laughs> uh, Celine. Uh, I'm going to gather up the rest of the mushroom hey, soup. I didn't go. Oh, oh, derp! I'm oh. sorry. I, I had... Mordecai. Yeah, Mordecai, go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. I just had you tallied as we were finishing up, uh, as we're getting that last <laughs> that last turn in from the dog, so... Um, okay, Mordecai, what are you doing? I'm going to move right here, yes. and then I'm going to take a short, short swipe at it. Okay. 25 to hit. Yeah, you actually have advantage because it's prone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not like it's a new lot, but. Go for that. You just line this thing up and. Just three? Yeah. Okay. Are, are you gonna pommel okay. strike this thing? Are you, are you gonna, like, flat blade it, or. No, I'm slicing it open. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and it. A couple spores kind of pour out of its head. It 
gasps, right. and then it falls it in. Jasper's just kind of landing right there. Okay. That's it. Um, so then it would come to you, Celine, on this turn. The fire, the fire wouldn't spread, and it would actually be doused. Um, yep. So. Uh, I will gather up the rest of the mushroom soup. Okay. See, it's a really gross looking color. Kind of a greenish blue. My bad. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Should have made a poo emoji. Um, okay. There we go. Yep, there we go. But no, I gather I gather up the mushroom soup. Because it's still sample. Okay. Just um, because it's been microwaved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's half of the experiment already done. <laughs> um, very well. Uh, so what 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 I'm gonna do here, uh, because it is uh three forty and uh I I'm I'm gonna have to get up and at least uh I gotta use the restroom, and we should probably wrap things up because I know you don't have uh, gathering and nerds tonight. But I still want to—I I, I, want to wrap some stuff up so I can yep. uh, do a few more things tonight that I usually do while I'm, I'm watching y'all. Uh, we're gonna pause the game here, so we're we're paused at Celine scooping up melted mushroom. Uh, Mordecai, you have a mushroom kebab on your short sword. Um, and, uh, and Jacob Stillwaters, and I'm sorry, Investigator Jacob Stillwaters. Uh, I, I, I can't see that, unfortunately. It looks very, it's very bright. Very reflective. Uh, but you have, uh, Seasoned Spiral Cut Mushroom Fries. Uh, oh, that's your, that's your journal? Okay. I was not kidding when I ended up saying, I'll make a note. <laughs> um, the, the forest fire is out. Uh, the stream continues to, uh, to run past. And uh, we'll pick up here next week as there may be more to, to come or to investigate as you have these samples or, you know, who knows, you destroyed a mushroom circle that could do something. Uh, we'll find out. But, uh, hey, thank you, probably everyone. Probably pissed someone off. Uh, I had a lot of fun this way. It probably did. Uh, someone somewhere <laughs> is going to be a, a grumpy pants about this. And uh, I guess that'll be up for, for you all to, to worry about here. Um, but thank you. It was fun. And I'm glad that we got to meet uh, Jacob, um, who uh, I, I am going to look forward to uh, getting to know more and to explore. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I, well, we'll just have to find out, won't we? <laughs> hey, just Might wait until the investigator have to take a sees visit it. To the flesh tree, so that uh, Jacob can take his. Because while Mordecai isn't we isn't wearing the uh, the military uniform, he is wielding uh, Shadahar weapons. Now that th that doesn't mean he didn't take down a soldier and steal them, but he's still using them. So he does wield Shadahar weapons. All right, taking making a note. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's not getting a gold star today. <laughs> You're only getting a red star. <laughs> Can't win. Can't win. <laughs> this is the drama we bring to you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the soul-crushing agony. The <laughs> the, the, there is a way, there is a way to it, but you're being stingy, Mordecai. <laughs> How am I being stingy? <laughs> you will find out. Oh goodness. Uh, I, I really enjoy this. Uh, you all are wonderful to run for, and I'm, I'm very happy that we've had uh, a year under our belts, and I'm looking forward to uh, however X long. Although, remember, Dark Wolf, I did make you uh, a promise that uh, we're we're not we're not two episodes away from finishing the story because we haven't had a thing happen yet. Because that was your concern. So y yeah. you know we have at least two more episodes left in this show uh, as of right now because I haven't done the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh ah, yes, the thing. Zuli, do yes, the, thing. the thing. Uh tell you what, let's let's go raid someone. I if you all want to have some table talk, that's fine. I'm gonna have to get up for a, a second, but uh let's go uh let's go raid someone here. Oh, you know who we can raid? Uh Neo Realms is doing an art stream. And uh for those of you who don't know, uh Neo Realms uh is an art actually he's an art teacher. And, uh, and uh, he does a lot of, like, really cool little animations on his channel. He's definitely hung around us uh, and, and supported us. And so let's go give him a raid. 
So thank you, everyone Either in the audience. Either still or again, because I was going to raid him earlier today. <laughs> oh, all right. Hey, good. Yeah, I because uh, for those of you out there, if I can, I, I want to raid you, or uh, you know, if I have the time to visit and I see your notification, I'll be sure to pop in as well. Uh, so there we go. The the raid command to raid Neo Rums is out there. Everyone, please hit yes and at least go and give a Maddie raid and a hello. And, uh, and let's see what he's drawn. Awesome dude. He can give you some uh, advice. He can tell you a lot of stories. He might even play his harmonica for you uh, if you hit the follow button and you haven't already. Or if you just ask him. I'm, I think he always looks for excuses to play uh, the harmonica. Mm -hmm. uh, so, all right, everyone out there in, in viewer land, we'll see you next Tuesday for another game. But tomorrow is the miniature raffle. Is the July mini raffle, and uh, we're loaded with boxes. In fact, I, I'm just going to call it a casual night, and I'm going to do the mini raffle because that's going to take a while, and then just sit back. We could talk RP. I'll, I'll play some more Secret of Mana, and it'll just be a chillax stream. So, all right. Excellent. Go. Good. Woo. Okay. Woo.